peace pound it down, load it up and truck it. We gonna do what they say can be done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm eastbound, just watch old bandit run. So uh work last night. Almost throw up anything. And I picked up a really weird container. Really weird. As you can see, well, that's mine. Average 20 foot container. What's so weird about it? What's so weird? Doors there, it's on the chassis, slot for forklift. What is so weird about this container? Well, let me show you what kind of abomination container this thing is. I've seen them occasionally, but I've never pulled one. Look at that. What the hell? There's doors on both ends. Funny thing is, they got a place to put a bolt seal here and open it up. Sure, it's got like a red or nut bolt there, but there's no seal. Oh, almost fell. Messing with my seat. Oh, it's cold. Too cold. So while I was going to pick it up, it's like, well, there's doors on both sides. What does it really matter? What? And I, you put it on, just put it on the damn rigging chassis and let's get the hell out of here. But the guy was like, no, no, you got to come around the other way. You got to come around the other way. It actually matters. Well, I didn't know why, so. Uh, I went inside uh, before I jumped out the truck and took a look why it matters. And here's what I found. Uh, it's welded shut. Okay, there. There. All right, well we got the uh, uh, 20 foot container return. What a weird can that was. See if it's owned by Zim. So it's uh, an Israeli can. Well, it's an off hire, so they don't own it. It's someone else owns it. It's an off hire. So we got that returned, and we pulled off to uh, the pad um, at the staging area at CN to go into CN, but we actually didn't go in. Just wanted to use the pad because, you know, it's bare pavement uh, to uh, move my chassis back out to a 40 foot configuration, which is what we did. We're back up to 40 feet, we're heading to the warehouse, and I know there's one more thing to do. It's a slow day, there's not much to do. It's like a return and uh, go pick up the trailer to drop the chassis off at, uh, at the uh, leasing company yesterday because it's having a lot of problems with some of the valves freezing up all the time. Um, the one that is frozen freezing up yesterday because I was at a customer and well it froze at the customer and it's not the uh, brake pads uh, freezing to the drums no 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 it's probably a valve so um, they put it in the shop all day and overnight and they were working on it this morning trying to figure out what the problem is even in when it's warm like in like July August it takes a long time to air so um, they're gonna figure out what's wrong with the chassis why it's taking so long could it be a valve? I think it's a valve. It's a sticky valve. So they're probably going to change some valve. Uh, go through all the lights. Make sure all the lights work. Everything's good. They're going through that chassis. Stem to stern. Lock, stock, and barrel. And they're going to see out what the problem is with that chassis. Because I was at a customer and the brakes locked up on me. And um, it wouldn't have come undone. I'm bashing away with the sledgehammer, putting alcohol. So finally, after about 10 minutes of just waiting, the brakes come off. Then I'm coming out of CN. Get the can off. No problem, I get the can off. Leaving CN, brakes lock up. Brakes lock up again. So I'm sitting there on the road, uh, impeding traffic with a truck that's Brakes do not want to cooperate. 
can not cooperate. Come on. I hate automatics. This truck has figured out what the hell it wants to do because it's... Oh, there you go, in the fourth. It tried to get in the third three times, and now five... Oh, yeah. We should shift. Never buy an automatic. Never. But can we go to their good when they're new? But after the truck's five years old, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Because when they get old, they start having problems. So, the only thing you got to do next is go to call State Henry Trader, see if they're done with that uh, that chassis, and go get it. And that's it for the day. Like, really short day. Like, all I did is uh, return, and I got to pull the the VIN numbers off the chassis and the uh, and the uh, gear of manufacture because uh, my boss wants them because he's trying to go directly through the insurance or something I don't know but he needs that so we're gonna get that information up for him and then we're gonna go home and find something to do maybe play some guitar or play some PlayStation edit videos behind behind that's what I'm gonna do so, thanks for watching and uh, stand by.